Hello, good morning. How are you guys today? Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. Today, oh, hi. Yes, come on down. Today, I am going to share with you a story. So this story takes place when I was about five or six years old. Five or six, I can't remember. But my dad at the time was living in Macomb, and he ran a bed and breakfast. Do you guys know what a bed and breakfast is? A little bit. It's, it's kind of like a hotel, only it's a house. It's like you can go and you can stay overnight and, you know, there's things for you to do there, but it's not a hotel. It's just a house. And so my, my dad ran one of these, and I, we were so privileged this night because we got to stay, my twin sister and I got to stay in one of the really cool old rooms in this house in Macomb. So we were very excited about that. Um, I remember getting specific instructions from my father that it was time to get into our pajamas. We were, it was, Hannah and Katie, go up and change into your PJs. Simple enough, right? Well, we weren't ready to get into our PJs. We were either, well, I don't know, excited about something, we had a lot of energy, maybe we just had a lot of sugar, but for some reason we would not do that. And we ended up jumping around on these beds, swinging our jackets around, and just having a party in this room. We were jumping around, just waving these jackets around, and then suddenly something bad happened. They, they had these really beautiful old lamps that sort of just came out of the wall like this, and they faced upward like this, and I was swinging my jacket around and having fun, jumping around, and my jacket hit this lamp, and so the, the, the lamp just came off of the wall and shattered on the ground. I was five or six years old, and I'm standing in all this glass. I was never hurt, but I was just surrounded by glass, so what do you think I did? What do you think? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely broke it. I broke this lamp. It was everywhere. I, what? You were in trouble. I, yeah, that's what I thought. Yes, yeah, I wanted to hide. Very good. <laughs> yes, I definitely wanted to hide. But all I could do is wail. All I could do is cry and scream. I just knew. I just knew that I, I was going to probably get scolded. I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to feel so bad. But my twin sister ran right down, right down and got dad, told, told him what happened, and Katie came back and kind of just watched me cry for a minute. I remember that. I just remember crying and being watched. And then everything was going through my mind. What's going to happen? I'm going to get scolded. Maybe he's going to yell. I don't know. This is bad. This is really bad. I broke a really cool lamp. Might have been grounded. Might have been grounded. Very cool. Yeah, could have been. But here's what happened. My dad came to the door. He just assessed the situation. He looked saw that I was standing in glass and that I was crying, still very loud, crying, screaming, crying, sad little girl. And he came in, scooped me out of this glass, put me on the bed, and sat down next to me, put his arm around me, put his arm just like this, and said, this is okay. This doesn't change how wonderful you are. This doesn't change anything. This, is, this was a mistake. We'll be okay. And I remember feeling so relieved. I remember loving my dad's reaction to my mistake. I remember thinking the first thing he could have done is run up the stairs and scold me. I was misbehaving. I should have been in my PJs. But instead, his first reaction was running to get the M&Ms that he came in and fed me one by one. He fed me M&Ms one by one so that I would stop crying and that I would feel better. Isn't that cool? His first reaction was to go and get the M&Ms and come up and comfort me. Yes, they are very yummy. <laughs> Good. So that's what I want us to remember today, that every day when we wake up, when we go to bed, when we go to school, when we're at school, when we're playing with friends, when we're at home, we can make love our first reaction. We can make love our first reaction in our everyday lives. Um, so, and when, we, and when we make love our first reaction, we are honoring God and the hopes and the plans he has for us, aren't we? Yeah, so, to, together we're going to say a quick prayer. I hope you, I hope you remember this, this children's sermon, and to do that, I might have something in a bag for you. Do you have any idea what might be in this bag? Any, yeah, M&Ms, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to give you some M&Ms so that you can remember this story. <laughs> Um, but why don't you fold your hands and bow your heads with me. Would you repeat after me nice and loud? Dear God, thank you for teaching us how to love. Help us make love our first reaction. We want to show 
our friends, families, and neighbors. Your love. Amen. You guys, thank you for coming down. And make sure you grab an M&M packet on your way out.